Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a full face of fun, cool new makeup. But before we start, I wanna jump right into this. Don't forget to like my video if you enjoy my video. Also subscribe to my channel. And if you guys wanna see more content from me, you guys can follow me on any social media at Daniel's Vibe on Instagram or TikTok. So we're gonna first start off with primer and here I have the Youthphoria and this is their pre-game primer. This like primer went viral. Basically every Youthphoria product goes viral. Um, and this was sent to me. I'm very excited to try this. What are the claims? So the claims to this primer is, so it's made to help protect your skin from harmful ingredients while keeping your makeup in place. But is it like supposed to be luminous? It's a lightweight daily protective primer with skincare benefits, a powerful blend, plant-based ingredients to help protect skin from irritating ingredients. Oof, this feels so freaking juicy. Whoa. Okay, so what else is this supposed to do? Um, it has red pepper derived ingredients safeguard to safeguard skin from external aggressors. So this is basically a primer that is just with a lot of skincare benefits. And this feels, okay, I'm not gonna lie, it has somewhat of a distinguished scent, but it's not, I don't think it's added uh, fragrance, it's just the formula itself. But it's nothing too overpowering. It's not the best scent, but the way this feels, I can definitely pass the I, get, I can get past the scents. Let me go ahead and apply just a little bit more for this. I can already feel that um, makeup with this primer is gonna glide on like butter. The texture of this is insane. Okay. So, um, I don't know how to describe this, the texture it's not greasy and it's not oily but it's very like juicy and it does have somewhat of a glow to it but the skin it just makes your skin look really supple the skin doesn't look greasy doesn't look oily it just looks very healthy very moisturized it's a really nice finish i do like it before we proceed my lips right now are dry as the cement and here I have the lip cushion from M Cosmetics. This is their clear one. I've always wanted to try this. And let's see. Ooh. Wow. It's like melts on contact with your lips. I can see the name cushion because that's exactly what your lips feel like. Whoa. I'm in love with this formula. And they have tinted ones as well. Um, so I went for the clear one and I'm not disappointed. This feels so comfortable on the lips. Moving on to base, and here I have the Jones Road What the Foundation, another viral product. Um, it's kind of infamous as to why it went viral, but the, the reviews on this honestly most of them have not been good. People hate it. And I'm just gonna be honest, that's, those are the reviews that are out there. Me though, I really, I've already used this once. And let me tell you, the reason why I loved it is because I'm actually using it the right way. So this is not meant to basically give you any coverage to be quite honest. This is supposed to perfect your skin so if you like that you know definitely a no makeup type of product that's gonna even out your skin tone and that's just gonna give you you know that extra oomph when it comes to your skin this is it right here and i'm in love with the texture it's definitely a very hydrating formula but again if you use this the right way I've definitely, again, if you're, you like a type of full beat type of makeup, even if you like a medium coverage makeup, this product is probably not meant for you. This is, 
for you, for the people again that just want that perfected skin look, that want that no makeup makeup type of look, very, very natural. This is it right here. And it really just evens out your skin. It does blur your complexion. So it does have some blurring properties because I can definitely see how it blurs my pores. And this just makes your skin look beyond healthy. Like you drank your water and you've been drinking your vitamins every morning. And I'm so happy I tried this. It was sent to me. And again, did you like the way I use it? I just used it where I typically apply concealer under the eyes, a little bit on my forehead, on the neck, wherever I shaved. And I just feel like my complexion just looks perfected. It looks fresh, healthy, supple. Before I move on to the next product, I want to go ahead and swatch it for you. And I got it in the shade beige. And yeah, this is like a perfect, beyond perfect skin match. Let me show you. So it like basically blends into my skin. And again, in order for you to love this, you have to use it the right way. People were using it like if it was going to have high coverage. This is not it. That that's this is not that product. Um, so honestly, this is beyond unique. And again, if you use it the right way, you will love this. Okay, now I want to move on to this package that arrived yesterday, and this is the makeup by Ariel with Morphe collaboration. And I'm so happy I finally got my hands on this. Uh, I got it through Ulta, there was a sale, and I just jumped right on it. And yeah, very excited to try these brushes. So for bronzer, I don't have like a dedicated bronzer type of product, but I do have here the matte fluid eye paint from About Face. And this is basically, and this is in the shade Cloned. Now, I use another shade, it's called uh, Capulets. I use it as a contour because it does have a nice uh, contour undertone for me. And this is the shade Cloned. I'm gonna try to use this as a bronzer. Um, this seems very pigmented, so I have to be very careful with how much I apply. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a dot here. And then another dot here. And again, we're going to be using this as a bronzer. Okay, so I'm going to be using this brush from Makeup by Ariel. And this is their, this is the A24. So we're going to use this. Let's see. Yeesh. Okay. Yeah, did you guys, okay. So that has a lot of pigment. And please, I do not want this video to go bad. I'm just going to have to blend 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 okay okay i can definitely make this work i this has a definitely like a reddish undertone okay i was already getting scared but okay it doesn't look too bad and i'm going to continue blending i'm going to bring some over here Okay, this formula look okay that looks really nice like i was really scared <laughs> that looked intense i mean it could have been intense but i blended heavily so yeah that looks really nice as you guys can see it gave my skin tone a really nice reddish bronzy type of look and if you're new to this channel i love a good red undertone bronzer so this looks really good Okay, these brushes by Makeup by Ario are beyond soft. And look at the quality of these brushes. It just looks top tier. Like, love the color. It has some weight to it. It feels like good quality. I mean, look at my skin tone with the matte fluid from About Face. It looks really good. I really do like this. Now we're gonna move on to eyebrows and here I have the M Cosmetics. This is their micro fluff and I have it in the shade Universal Taupe. And I've already used this 
and I really do like it. Reason why, look at this applicator, it's beyond thin. This tool also just doesn't pick up a lot of product, which for me, that I have very thick brows, um, the less product I apply, the better. And I honestly only need one dip of this, just because again, I already have thick brows and I really do like this. Again, the applicator is just amazing. Uh, it really reminds me a lot of the Kosas, what is it, Airbrow? The one thing I don't like from the Airbrow from Kosas is that it picks up so much. I have to wipe off product. So basically I'm just wasting product. Um, with this, it's definitely not the case. So this is definitely something that I'm gonna be using when like I'm on a, you know, just, on a time crunch and I just want my brows to have a light hold and just look a little bit fuller on the areas where I have like some patches. Um, this is definitely gonna come in handy when it comes to those type of moments. Now we're gonna move on to blush and here I have two blushes from About Face and they sent me the shade Smash, and they sent me the shade Shagged. Let me swatch these for you. So this formula already feels, it's very emollient, but um, I've already used these as well. Um, if, again, it melts on contact with your fingers and your skin but the formula is not dewy or oily by any means. So again, here I have the shade Smash and here I have the shade Shagged. And I've already used the shade Shagged. I use it in one of my shorts, so if you wanna see that, you can. So today we're gonna to be using the shade Smash. And for blush, I'm gonna be using this um, brush from Makeup by Ariel, and this is the brush A58. And I'm just gonna pick it up here from the, actually, let's just do it how all the TikTokers do it. They just swipe it on their face, so that's what we're gonna do. We're, we're gonna be cool. Oof, okay, so that seems like a lot, right? Maybe it is, but <laughs> I'm telling you, the shade Shagged is even more intimidating, and that one blended like a dream so let's hope that, that this is the same case for this one so I'm gonna bring some over here okay okay so this again blends like a dream has a matte finish it's very it's really sheer but as you can see I was able to blend it nicely and bring it all over my face and give and it's giving me a really nice it has a pretty nice pigment to it if but again it's just a sheer formula that looks really nice i really do like that sh this shade um smash that's really nice i'll go and pick some a little bit more as you can see how intimidating how intimidating did that look and look how it blended really nicely. Picked up a little bit more. And just gonna, I'm really liking this brush um, for blush. I feel like it just has like the perfect shape. This one um, is meant, I believe, for contour and for like, bronzer. But I'm really liking it as a blush brush. Now moving on to the last product here, I have the Milk Makeup Pore Clips Mattifying Setting Spray. And this I purchased myself. And this setting mist, guys, has definitely changed my perspective when it comes to a matte setting spray. I always thought it was something gimmicky because the ones that I've tried didn't really help control my oils by any means. And this one, I went to an event. That's the reason I bought it because, you know, I took a chance and it really kept me matte. And I'm telling you, if, if, if you're a returning viewer here, I have heavy, heavily oily skin and this 
really help control my oils. My as you as even right now, I'm starting to see that it's already like giving me a soft matte finish to my skin. I'm telling you, I, I tried it and I did see that it somewhat um, was making my face look matte like the first 15, 20 minutes when I used it, um, but didn't think much of it. I'm like, okay, it's probably only gonna last me for an hour. Got to the event, two, three hours later, took a picture and my skin was still matte. I honestly couldn't believe it. So this setting spray has made me a believer when it comes to, well, at least for this one, really does work. If you're looking for an oil controlled matte setting spray, I highly recommend this. It's worth the coin and you have to try it out for yourself. And I can see it already. As you can see, I, we used um, the pregame from Euphoria. It was a very juicy primer the what the foundation from jones road another you know somewhat very hydrating product and my skin doesn't look oily doesn't look greasy it doesn't look dewy it just looks has the nicest soft matte finish this is the finished look again loved how everything is looking i feel like every product played with each other really good and my skin looks really good my favorites I honestly really did enjoy everything. Definitely the milk makeup uh, setting mist, a win, and um, the blushes, the brush. And honestly, I really enjoyed everything. Uh, before I end this video, I do want to talk about two skincare products that I've been loving. And first is going to be the Celamex. This is their Noonie toner. Um, yeah, so I've been incorporating this into my skincare routine. And it just feels really um, fresh on the skin when you apply it. And I feel like every other product that I apply after this just sinks into the skin really nicely. Then another product which I'm already, it's empty already, uh, is the Velvet Cleansing Milk Cleanser from Stradia. And honestly, at first I didn't care for it um, because it is a very uh, gentle cleanser and it's milky as well. Um, it doesn't have a lather, which that's typically what I used to be, you know, I used to enjoy a, a good lather. Um, but this is basically non-stripping. Um, it does cleanse your skin, but just in a very gentle way. I wash my face about four times a day because I have very oily skin. I go to the gym and yeah, I just need to constantly be washing my face. And the milky clen the milky texture of this feels really nice on the skin. It just feels hydrating. And again, it just doesn't strip your skin. That does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like my video. Also subscribe to my channel. You guys can follow me on any social media, at Daniels5 on Instagram or TikTok. I'll be linking everything I use in the description box. If you guys have any questions on anything, if you guys have these products, if you don't, if you do like them, if you don't like them, I want to know. Comment down below. I love chit-chatting with you guys in the comment section. And that's it. I'm done with you guys. Bye.